put our hit out on biz. How much? Let's get loaded. What's up, busy boy? Is this where we're at? This is Gretzky's this house? This is Gretzky's house. Just a very chill, relaxed day in the All-Star week for us, not just a weekend. And we're here at Gretzky's basement. And it's gonna be an unreal week. And then tomorrow, we're here all day. We're gonna do a bunch of interviews. We got Peter Mansbridge, AKA Peter Mansbiz. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hit him with the photo. So it's gonna be a hell of a week. And of course, Thursday, the live show. There you go, boys. What's up, bro? Yeah, that's 590. All mugsy, though. Oh, mugsy, though. The crazy color pants. Yeah. Yeah. This is your green suit, guy? This is the ring. Uh, yeah, fart, the whole fart suit. The, the fart catchers. Somebody. The fart, the fart catchers. Come on. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Yeah, that was his Babe Ruth. Oh, Holy shit, look at that thing. Is that an oven mitt? <laughs> Those are Walter's gloves. These things are fun. The old power line electrician. <laughs> hey, this will protect your dome. <laughs> That's That's his body. Body. I, mean, I mean, look at that. I know. Insane. My dad, my dad had one of those. Oh, yeah. I mean, you might as well have like That's a winter so hat on. Mimsy, what's up, buddy? No excursion there. How you doing? <laughs> Not too bad. Just running over the town, getting Pink Whitney. There you oh, go. Boy. <laughs> Is that all for yourself? Uh, it's for me and you. There you go. <laughs> uh, what's up, big guy? What's going on? How we doing? Good to find you back in Toronto. What's up, man? Fired up. See, oh, pal. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Upstairs. You guys are upstairs. Oh, ironically, the basement's upstairs. Hello. Everybody and welcome to episode 481 oh, of Spit and Chicklets yeah. presented by Pink Whitney from our friends at New Amsterdam Vodka here in the Bar School Sports Podcast family. We're here all these eight years down. We're in Toronto with the whole crew. We're at Gretzky's base right now. I'm off the wall, Biz. I've been so fired up. I don't up for think I've ever trip. heard that note on a hello, no, I, everybody. I, put a I thought he was having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, day two. Let's go. Gretzky's basement. Peter Mansbridge, Sarah Nurse. Judd, the super agent, and Tim Connolly. Gary Roberts, too. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome Canadian royalty to the show. <laughs> and though he retired a few years ago, you can still check him out on his podcast, The Bridge. Thank you so much for joining us on the Spit and Chicklets podcast, Peter Mansbridge. It's an honor to have you here, Peter. Hey, it's an honor for me to be here. You guys are, uh, well, you're quite something. <laughs> I've learned a whole new vocabulary <laughs> listening to you guys. Oh, no, no. What's your favorite? <laughs> Let's go through the list here. Uh, Pink Whitney. Well, we are very happy to welcome our next guest to the show. It's been a long time, Sarah, since we promised you you'd be on. Uh, she's been one of the faces of women's hockey here in Canada for over a decade now. It's a big pleasure to finally welcome to the Spit and Chickens podcast, Sarah Nurse. How you been, oh, Nurse? Well, clicks, wow. boys, wow. for Sarah Nurse, Wait, Canadian absolutely. legend. Absolutely. absolutely. Thank you. Great intro. Love that. <laughs> the trash talking. Is it as ruthless as, as the men's game? Honestly, I think it's a little more ruthless what? just because, like, girls are vicious. You heard. Girl. Sorry, girls, sorry, sorry. girls are vicious. It gets personal, oh, and I know okay, that like okay. I always hear about guys talking about like people's moms and like sisters and things, but like a girl will run down your entire life. <gasps> yeah. Well, folks, oh, it's baby. finally, finally <laughs> happened. We have the executive vice president, one of three at Wasserman Hockey, super agent super Austin agent. Matthews, Connor McDavid, Roman Yossi. The list continues. Judd Moldaver. Welcome to the <laughs> oh, welcome to the Spin clicks, Podcast. Wow. Uh, hey, we, we came to Toronto and we got him. It had to be in He's person. He's like a white buffalo. <laughs> hey, this <laughs> might have been my modernized white whale. Well, I can't say uh, how happy I'm going to be here. I appreciate the persistence. Uh, and I feel honored to be on the show, fellas. All right, everyone. It's time for our next guest, a veteran of 697 NHL games. Let's just give him 700 for the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> my old teammate, my old line mate, my old roommate, 
Tim Conley. Welcome let's to Spin Kick. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. 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 I thought it was Army. RA. Army. You just got in shape. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, we're. I'm like, you really hit up that shirt and gym. I went Come to Gary Roberts for eight months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You I don't think great. I would have survived Gary Roberts. We don't like that gift, bud. I just have a nice side evil. No, oh, it was good. This is just great. I go, I go, watch your new cereal. This is your new cereal. Great. No, I'm still Fruit Loops guy. Oh, no, not anymore, but you're. Well, it's been a few years since we've had this legendary NHL on the pod. Gary Roberts, how you been, man? I've been good, guys. How are you guys been doing? The machine. A little, oh, the it's, machine. A, machine. Oh, it's a little, it's a little tight around here, right, eh? guys? <laughs> I've walked in the door and I've met—I don't know—I've seen a hundred people in about seven hundred square feet. So you guys are, yeah, you guys are living on, tight. Buddy. I like it. Yeah, get your tight. mask on. Get your hand sanitizer out, buddy. <laughs> Ontario, you know, will probably shut down after the day. <laughs> This is Paul's mother. This is his mother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You? Oh. Oh. Your son's so nice. Oh, and so And he's so you. good. You, I, you should be so proud. He's so good. And what happened to your son? You're so pretty and he's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> he takes after his father. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I love the TVs. You know what, the last time I saw these? We went through Graceland, and Elvis Presley had four TVs set up. You know, you have a big screen TV. He loved watching football. So I had four big Zenith TVs set up in his one room where all the guys would sit and watch Sunday football. And they were like Zenith TVs, and now we have like the big screens, right? This is what it's like. I was telling the boys the story, and they didn't believe me about the Gordy Howe sold this for me. It was too big, so Gordy Howe sold that for me. Come on. I go, Gordy, my jersey's too big. And he goes, oh, kid. And he got a needle and thread, and he sewed it for me. Twenty six hundred point five. Nobody will beat that one. <laughs> We're at the venue. We're coming to check out where the live show will take place. It's going to be great. Go through a little run through, and uh, we got a lot of surprises on deck, even more potentially being added. Wow. This is sick. What a, what a theater. Those seats are sick. Side ones? I would never guess that that's a. 1100 seats. It even feels a little smaller than Boston. I was just gonna, I just said it. Looks like, I would guess this is 500 seats. Yeah. Well, let's count one, one. You're gonna count them? <laughs> we'll be here till Nine. Thursday Nine. next week. Will Arnett, and so Dale's gonna come up and do the body. Is Will coming? He, yeah, he said he was. So we're, we'll plan the questions with me. <laughs> so he's doing the body armor questions, right? So we're thinking he's like something along the lines of, hey, Biz, like, could I bring my buddy up too to read a question? And we're like, who the fuck's your buddy, Dale? Like, sure, dude. <laughs> no, uh, charity work. We're doing charity, yeah. Yeah, where's Rick? Make a wish. Yeah. Make a wish. And then Will Arnett comes up. That, that could be, be pretty cool. cool. How much do you yeah. love Muggsy wet? Muggsy's amazing. Muggsy oh. jeans, jeans very, super, yeah, super most comfy. Comfortable jeans in the Merle's. world. They're stretchy. They fit nice. Merle's. They're not too loose unless RA wears them. <laughs> no, no bum. I left my ass in the womb. Well Pizza box fact. bum. It's showtime. Julia. 100K on Instagram for Pink Whitney, all thanks to her. <laughs> Not you, Memesy. <laughs> no, yeah, I got, I got no. Collect no, collective no, no, effort. No, no, no. Yeah, this is the crew this is right the here. Team. This is the social team right here. Hey, Joshy boy. This is where it all went down with the NHL first timers that we did. 
And then he's like, hey, I could chip in here. Like, I, he's a photographer, and he does a, a lot with uh, WWE wrestling. And he sent over the photos. So I'm like, fuck, you might be our best photographer. He's gonna have pictures of the whole weekend and create the fucking scene. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right, boys. All right, boys. So this has been a long time coming. <laughs> Two wonderful podcasts. A lot oh. of great friends. And here's why this one is really special. And it finally dawned on me. Here's how fucking stupid I've been for all these years. This is a total natural fit. Spit and chiclets. Thirty-two thoughts. Nice how goal. many teeth are you supposed to have as an adult? Thirty-two. No this is the thirty-two chiclets. Oh, what a show. Unbelievable. Reception was great. Crowd was a little, little raucous, a little rowdy, but that's what you want. It's a fucking Thursday night, All-Star Weekend. Can't thank everybody. Jeff Marrick, Elliot Friedman for coming by. Yandel, the Game Notes boys. Just an awesome show. And now, we celebrate. Green room. I want to get a beer. I want to get drunk. Where's the green room? Over here? It's like unreal. The guys were unreal. And like, I just want to get fucking loaded. That's it. <laughs> hey, now put that, don't even edit it, because I do want to. That's it. <laughs> and I don't care, I'm going in here with 20 year NHLers and who gives a fuck. Jeff, how are you? I know. I'll just you're well, Mike, you look good. You look good. Yeah, let's go. But how Jeff, yes, you sir. look good, but you're not good looking. Amen, to, the, amen to that, brother. Hey, the picture. Let's go. <laughs> one plus one doesn't equal 665. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I know, and you're loving this. This bonus to you. This is total bonus to Patcha. Yeah, I know. How you doing, pal? Get loaded. Now, we're here in Toronto after Spit and Chicklets on stage performance. Love it. And uh, I will continue to get loaded. So, to all my fans, the Jerry fans, Hey, son, there you go. Let's get loaded. It's All Star Weekend. My eyes are looking a little glossy. Yeah, I'm hurting. I don't think my eyes are as bad as business voice, though. All right, our next guest is one of the league's bright young All Stars, Sebastian Aho. Congrats on another All Star game, brother. Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. You seem very calm yeah. demeanor. Like you, like I don't you have know. more I stress think in your life? I definitely stress, but stress about hockey. You get paid more. Thanks, you know, Montreal. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Biss. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to welcome this fellow mass hole to the show finally, Frank Vitrano. Congratulations, my friend. Thanks. Thanks for having me, guys. What I know about Springfield. Field. I never actually went to it. There was this famous strip club. There. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, wait oh, hey now. That's like world known. <laughs> Everyone who's been through Springfield knows the Gras. Yeah. Because then you have to get <laughs> the Gras. The Gras. Was... You can get a 12 ounce ribeye right next door at the 350 Grill. <laughs> How much of your signing bonus went there? The funniest, I've never been there. Well, it's great to welcome our next guest. This 28-year-old forward from British Columbia was taken second overall by Buffalo at the 2014 NHL Draft. Sam Reinhardt, congrats on the All-Star game and the hell of a season so far, brother. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate you guys having what me. What a heater great. this guy's <laughs> been on. Flex. Holy Sammy fuck, Reinhardt. Sammy Reinhardt. Flex. Putting the strap on on the free agency. <laughs> pay me! <laughs> Contract year, pay me! Okay, it's time to bring on our next guest. He played in over 1,000 regular regular season and playoff games combined in his colorful career, Darcy Tucker. How Thanks. you been, my man? Too awesome, long. guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Uh, my kids are uh, really looking forward to this. I have two boys, so uh, they're they're jacked about me coming on. Go Leafs go, go, baby. Go Leafs go, baby. Talk to me with Doc. Meet and greet. I mean, we've been, we've been told by hundreds of people that they're going to be there. They can't wait. I guess it's a sick bar to begin with. So two floors, 
Going to meet a bunch of Chicklets fans. The tour of Toronto continues. All for the fans, baby. Hey, we don't like those new guys. We don't like those new guys. Oh boy. Well, get, make sure, let me hold the camera here. There you go. There you go, Pasha. Watch real it. recognize real. What? Real recognize Watch real. Watch double wrister, Pasha. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> You're gonna see some cool mascots. These are some throwbacks, you know? Not those new school punks like Gritty and Bowie, those bunch of bums, right? You guys hear what I'm saying? Those two guys suck. Bring it in here. Let's have a good game tonight. Keep it clean. Not one, two, three. Master. Uh oh. Go the other way. Go the other way. questions today. I got some sleep last night. Good to see you. Three, two, one. All right, we look. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're keeping that. We're keeping that. We're keeping that, all right. All right, well, we got Brock Besser. <laughs> we got Brock Besser. Here we go. Right. Do you follow that Danny? Oh, Oh, I'm sure. Oh, it's a parody account. He was giving you a nice coffee. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's got it? Pull it up. You'll have to read it. I don't want to say it. Is it the tweet? Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, you dressed up just for us? No. Oh, okay. I would dress up for you. I do. Hi, Biz. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do we do? So the only thing is, keep that right here. And don't let, yeah, you give her a fucking blowjob the whole time. Oh. Like I do the Leafs every time. <laughs> All right, it's been about four years since we had this retired goalie slash legend on the show. He played 15 NHL seasons with the Kings, Islanders, Rangers, and Leafs, and of course, Won the 1994 Stanley Cup with the New York Rangers. Ben Healy. What an intro already. Heels. How you been, Heels? Put a quarter in them. Well, I I haven't got fired since our last interview. <laughs> hey, and that's all run. I was worried about. <laughs> I don't go to many interviews and bring a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wit, let's have a bet. He definitely knows who you are, but he could be too cool and bump into you and pretend that he doesn't. So I then agree. the bet's worthless. But I guarantee... If you gave him truth serum, you're well, like, why would you know who Paul Bissonette is? He'd be like, yeah. 100%. Well, well, why would he do that? Because I told you. Because you smell like a... a, a, a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is kind of nice. I wish I had this around with all the time so he'd shut the fuck up. So I don't understand why he he would snub me if he actually knew. It wouldn't make sense. I, I agree. I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. Maybe he's in, like, I'm a, I want to big-time this guy. Okay. But, but, but... 
I don't think he would. You're right. Okay, wait. Do you think Tate McRae knows who the Spit and Chuckles podcasts are? Probably because you DM'd her 14 times, <laughs> no, I bet. No, 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 no. <laughs> I did just follow her today, though. Oh, there we go. I hit the follow button. I was gonna say what's up. What's, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming, man. Sorry. That was a cool eruption yesterday when you surprised the fans, man. Sorry? That was a cool eruption when you surprised the fans. Yeah, that was thanks. awesome. I didn't really give him as good of a wave as Sid did. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll come. Awesome, yeah, buddy. Good, good seeing you. There's the world! Oh, there he is! Check that block. Check that block. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, which one of you guys said Paris was going to Chicago? That's hard. That's hard. She thinks, I got, just getting, I, got 20, Cooper wants him dead. I got 20 media guys all over him. Like, what are you here? Chicago? Oh, yeah. You're like, oh yeah, I heard it from the I, EBR gambling guy. I think I, guy. I, 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 I didn't want to know. I think it was Paul Biz. No, 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 no. I would never. Buddy, I'm, I've, been, I've, been, I've been pumping your guys' tires. My wrists are sore from all the wristers I've been giving you talk. <laughs> oh, this explains it. Great. No. How are you, buddy? I just had to kick your guy out of it. He's sitting in there having a beer. Who are, right? He's in where? He's in front of the room now. He, he was in the uh, players' lounge. All right, let me grab him. Come on, all right. There he is. How about his little moment in there? So he goes, all right, the boys are looking for you, right? I, oh, it's and, fine. No, he, no, but he let me in the room, and it was all the two other teams that weren't playing. It was all, it was me and all the fucking Austin. Oh, so room. you were talking to all of them? Dude, I sat down with Austin for 10 minutes, like, hey, buddy, we want to get a beer. And I see Vinny, I'm talking to Vinny, and the guy was like, hey, yo, you don't have the right pass to be in here. I'm like, I honestly didn't even sneak in here. The dude was like, I read the, so I thought he goes, the boys are looking for you. I thought it was you guys. And he brings me in the room with, with the fucking two teams watching the other two teams play. It was me and fucking all the other two. Who else like, are you talking to? Dude, well, I, well, there was a spot in the coach. I was, I was honest. He's like, he just started pissing himself off when I sat down next to him. Because I wasn't even sneaking in. All right, he says to ask, what was the moment? Which one? The moment. Oh, in there? No, no, no. Yeah. Just a step? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't oh, you bailed in the room? <laughs> no, dude. I, yeah, but it was it was like it was like it was like, it was Willy Wonka style. Like, Wait, like, like, like by the time I turned around, it was like ta-da! You fell over, dude. You know, you know, my phone. No, no, I took a step. You know when you read your phone, you step on the curb like that. That basically, I was going to grab a beer. I, I stepped out. So you went in the NHL All Star Players Lounge. Went to the Monty. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, that Monty. Monty. That's the key. It was behind everyone. It was behind everyone. So they only saw me get up like Willy Wonka. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? Hey, to the camera. Camera. Oh, you guys are awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's heard of the Spit and Chickens. Can we get you on for an interview? Yes, Tate McCray for a Spit and Chickens interview. You heard it there first. Fucking right. Oh. I want to put a hit out on Biz. How much? How much? You, you talk to me, buddy. I got. What's that? Uh, he's speaking bullion. Like two two thousand dollars to whack Biz. Three grand. Two grand. Nothing. He wants. Oh, he wants Biz right now. He wants Biz now. I don't know, buddy. Here we are, the man, David Pasternak, with a couple of points tonight. How are you feeling uh, going into the championship game here? Yeah. Uh, confident, you know, we had a uh, uh, tough time scoring, you know, at first, but uh, we knew the first one is always the hardest, so we're ready to rock now. How are you doing? Oh, oh, how are you? Too. I'm fucking fantastic. Am I going to yeah. see you tonight? Uh, ideally, you know. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to see me tonight, but you might. Spitting Chicklets vlog. Legend. <laughs> Legend. Brittany, Brittany, I got a pie for you. I got a pie. <laughs> yeah. You think you're all tough with cake in Philly? What's up? Yeah, I ain't done. Come on, wait. I got more moves than the next slide. Keep it up, will you, buddy? Spin Chicklets is only successful because of RA. That's it. Period. Full stop. All those other guys are pigeons. It's just RA. Do you want to cash or check? Just RA, baby. Love you, buddy. Love, love you, buddy. guys. I love the fellas.